Hi, I'm Steve Benziger and I'll be teaching the course Germplasm and Genes. It's one module of three modules with the other two being self-pollinated crop breeding and cross-pollinated crop breeding. In this class we are going to cover all of the common sources of variation that plant breeders or people that wish to understand nature uh, need to know about. They would include how plants are pollinated because that makes a huge difference in how they are bred as well as how they acquire new genes and how the germplasm is maintained as well as we will discuss things such as mutations, uh, apomixics, which is a reproductive biology strategy. We will also discuss things like transformation and genetically modified organisms. We will discuss chromosomal abnormalities, polyploidy, and a number of other topics that relate to how germplasm and genes are used in agriculture and in the service of humankind. If you look at what our diet consists of now, things like bread, well wheat came from the Middle East, barley came from the Middle East, if you have rice that came from Southeast Asia. So there are large centers of origin, all of which are outside the United States and all of which are the storehouses of the germplasm that now sustain humankind. You might be wondering who would be interested in this class. Well, of course plant breeders are because genetic ver diversity and variation is the driving force of all breeding programs. But people like plant pathologists and entomologists are interested because they're constantly looking for new sources of resistance to their disease or insect. People who work in biotechnology are very interested because they need to understand how transformation relates to the other forms of variation that are available in nature. I hope you'll enjoy this class as much as I enjoy teaching it.